Alright, so hey guys, and welcome to Create Money Time Bryson. If you don't know me, you're gonna know me. And today I'm gonna teach you guys how to do a really proper, professional looking thumbnail here on YouTube. Because, um, I, I do those, you know? But, <laughs> but basically, like, I think the thumbnail for this video is the thumbnail that I'm gonna be making right now. So I'm gonna teach you how I did that thumbnail, like, literally right, right, right now, real time. Well, not real time, it's not live. But the reason why thumbnails are so important is because YouTube has become, like, cluttered. I mean, talking about cluttered with, like, a lot of videos and a lot of posts. And the way you can really grab somebody's attention is actually just by the thumbnail that's like the first step if somebody sees your thumbnail the person clicks on the video with the best thumbnail and that's most of the times there's usually the thumbnail or the amount of views it already has right but that's a different conversation for another video but the thumbnail is one of the most important parts to a video and I'm gonna teach you guys how to do that today and if you clicked on this video and you're new to my channel guys go ahead and subscribe and like and leave a big thumbs up and share this video with all your friends so let's get started all right, so right now we're in the video right now. Um, my face is around in the screen somewhere. So now let's get started. Now I set up this entire thing, right? Usually what I do when I'm filming a video is that I take the thumbnails by themselves. So right here I got some videos, footage of me actually like 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 posing for the thumbnails themselves, right? Uh, we drag in the footage. Um, basically we take the footage and now we drag it to the to the little space right here. And what we basically do is we go through the footage, we start to pick some thumbnails, right? And I really like this one. I think it's nice. I think it's oh my gosh my. Damn, that smile, oh my gosh, boy, that smile is nice, all right? So what we do to like to like to like um, take this photo out is basically we just gotta click like this little camera icon right here, it's called export frame. So we just export the frame into a picture. I'm gonna video right here. We choose it right here, and you only gotta do this once. You only gotta do this once, like per video. So like now, what's gonna happen every time you try to export something or export a frame or a picture? That's what I like to call it. It's always gonna go to that folder. All right. So now that we got the thumbnails, we can easily just like save this project, close it out, get out of there. And now what we're gonna get into is actually doing Photoshop. I'm gonna show you guys this right because I don't want to complicate things. But I'm using Photoshop right now, Photoshop CC 2015. And what we're gonna do is right now we're gonna take that folder, all those pictures that we just created. And we're actually we're actually gonna take those pictures that we just created and we're gonna start editing with it, right? So what we're gonna do is actually we're gonna pick out one like right now, like which one is gonna work the most, right? So this one's really nice. This one's really nice too. This one's super nice. Oh my gosh, these are these are really nice pictures. But I think the most impactful one is probably this one. So we're gonna take this picture right here and we're just gonna go ahead and drag it into Photoshop. Now this is the Photoshop right here. Oh my God. So we got, we're into Photoshop right now and we're gonna start building this thumbnail. Now the first thing that I actually do when I'm doing something like this is actually I duplicate it. And the way you duplicate something is basically like you make a double out of the picture, right? But you duplicate it like, you basically like right click over here. You right click the picture, you click duplicate right up here. You click okay, it doesn't matter. You, if you can one, you can name it whatever, but it says copy so I don't think you're confused. Now what I usually do is I, I take off this one, right? And what the eye does is basically, what it does is um, you can't see the image anymore. So if I were to click both of the eyes then I can't see any image, right? But you want one image available. Now what I usually do right now is I'm gonna go through all this entire thing and I'm gonna trace it. Cause you know all thumbnails, all good thumbnails on, on Facebook now, on YouTube, I forgot what the platform I'm in, right? But you have like this entire like like little white lining. I'm gonna teach you guys how to do that right now, like a little white lining thing. So what we do to actually do that is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna zoom in here, let's zoom in. And we're gonna start, oh, we're gonna use this tool right here. It's called the Magnet Lasso Tool, right? That's why you gotta make sure that your, that your thumbnails are really HD because it does it automatically, but you wanna make sure that you get all the corners right. And if you mess up, if you screw up, just go back and do it because usually what it means is if you screw it up and you can see the screw up, another person's gonna be able to see it. So you don't wanna, you don't wanna like mess up like that. So we're gonna go over this, we're gonna trace it. I'm gonna speed this, like, this up for you guys. I wish I could speed it up for myself to be honest, but. I gotta be here and I gotta do all this stuff. Oh, and if you, um, oh, thing, if you screw up, like, all you have to do is, like, literally click backspace or delete. And then, like, what happens, like, say if I screw up and I come over here, like, just press delete, press backspace right here. A uh, Mac is the, is a backspace thing. I don't know what it is on Windows, but you just backspace it. And you keep going. You have to click command and plus symbol if you want to zoom in. Now what you do for the ending of it is like you just literally clip it, like you clip it to the to the to the start end starting point. So when you clip it to that, what it does is this, like it highlights everything. And you can see right here, everything is highlighted around my body. Now you want to get the eraser tool, right? But before you can start erasing and actually forming everything, what you want to do is something very simple, is like you click select, select up here, click select, you click inverse. And what that does is instead of when you like erase, you're not gonna erase me inside, but you're gonna erase everything outside because that's what you really want to erase. So why would you want to erase my pretty face? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Alright, so now you're gonna click erase right here. You erase everything, 
everything is erased right here and that's how you get that you see and when everything is erased make sure everything is erased okay when everything's erased click command and d and it diselects so you can you could have gone up here and click diselect right here too but i know my commands but so I, something i could do is i could do this i could take that picture that picture right here this one and i could easily go into filter blur and then gaussian blur that's my favorite type of blur and then i can like blur the background because what you want is to like have you be the focus of everything basically right i used to do that in the beginning but that's kind of like not even enough these days to actually get, get get people to actually notice your image so what i've been doing lately is i've been doing like like crazy backgrounds so instead of doing that i'm gonna like like take it off and i'm gonna start like actually doing the entire like like little lines or whatever right on the image now what you do to do those like white lines across or whatever color you want is like you right click you go to blended options and here we are these are the options right here layer styles and what you do is you go to stroke this entire line thing and a lot of youtubers do this like like a lot of people call it like squiggly line let me let me take that off so you guys can actually like, zoom in and you guys can actually see everything but what that is actually called is called a stroke now a stroke is basically like a stroke around your entire body right now what i usually like to go with and i can't believe i'm giving away my secrets for free so subscribe right now okay all right now i usually don't make it like too big because like too big looks like really sloppy so i make it like around like a solid like 46 46 is like nice it's like edgy and everything looks good i make it instead of it being inside because inside means that the, the stroke is inside it's coming from the inside so it kind of like like cuts out layers and sometimes that's good sometimes that's bad though so i usually make it on the outside of everything see so it comes out like looking like this which is like super different instead of being black i usually make it white uh i'm already black yeah <laughs> You can make it red by the way, you can make it whatever color you want, you can go through these colors like crazy, make it whatever color you want. I usually go with white, very simple, very nice, uh, click OK. But one more thing that we're actually missing is is actually to make the, the image look pretty, you know? What I'm going to do is I'm just going to click um, image adjustments and then curves. Now I like curves because it's like, you can like, anybody can do it, like you don't need to be like an expert or whatever. So like what I usually do is like I just come up here a little bit, make myself a little bit whiter. And then I come down here and I give myself a shadow. It makes the image pop out more. And that's that's your entire goal when you're making a YouTube video. You want to pop out in that thumbnail. You want people like when people like like view that side thing, that sidebar. You want people to notice you. Now we're gonna get a background. Usually I could easily like make a new layer right right down here. Make a new layer, and I could easily just do this, which is basically like fill it up. So like we can select the brush right here. This is the brush, little brush, and we can make the layer maybe like a. Something like this. Don't worry about that, by the way, because I'm not messing it up. Don't worry. It's because the it's all because the layer is on top here, right? So we just gonna move this to the bottom right here. Boom. Now we can see it, right? But it's very, very ugly. Yeah, I gotta collect money because I'm a rich guy. <laughs> gangsta, gangsta. When you get into text, because text, every thumbnail needs text. So what you're gonna do for that is very simple. Like just come over here to text. You start the text and what you're gonna do with this is you're gonna expand it. You, you want to make it bigger so you can actually see it So you go to edit you go to transform and at any moment guys like that's why I made it like clickable So you guys can see just like um like pause and go back so you guys can actually tell what I'm doing Because I'm going through it fast because I'm used to this um, We're gonna highlight it again with the with while being on the text and we're gonna, we're gonna change the, the the font I go with this font It's called um bada bada boom. Can we give away my, my secret my secret? My secret stuff. Obviously, you can't see anything at this point, right? It sucks. The colors are not bright enough. The colors aren't nice enough. And you want to make sure that everything that you're doing is actually popping out. So the colors that pop out the most usually are red and yellow and, and like really bright colors. So we go to blended options right here. Uh, I don't think it's actually, no, it's not green overlay. It's actually color, color overlay, right? Make it a bright red. I like bright red. Usually this is a bright red. And yes, you can preview it like right here before you do anything. You can add a stroke to that too, so to make it like pop out even more, which is awesome. Come on, this, look, this is looking actually, it's not looking that bad actually. Uh, to make this even more crazier, what we can actually do is we can go to Google, uh, grab some, actually I, I love this entire thing, it's called, I think it's called, alright, there's no, there's no porn websites there, right? We're good, we're good, we're good. Now, we're gonna go to um, Google. Any images you look for on Google to like add to like a thumbnail, make sure it's always PNG. PNG means that it doesn't have a background so you don't have to erase it or anything like that. This is pretty cool right here. All right, now make it smaller. We're gonna make it look crazy right now, okay? Remember that it's like a it's like an overlay, right? So if you put this below this picture, it's gonna look like that. And that's what I was going for actually. One thing that I did wanna tell you guys is 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 actually, um, I'm gonna show you an example right now. This used to be like this guy, he sucks at making thumbnails back in the days. 
to myself. But look at the um the PewDiePie thumbnail. It wasn't good whatsoever. It's all the way. It's all. It's cluttered everywhere. Like it's not good. Now look at this thumbnail right here. I'm gonna show you guys another example. Uh, you see these thumbnails right here, like this one, this one, these ones. Those thumbnails type sucks. Like you wanna always make sure that your thumbnails are actually bright. It's not bright enough. It doesn't pop out enough. And that's something that I made a mistake in when I started YouTube. So I don't want you guys to make that same mistake. I know it's looking kind of you. You don't have any faith in me, right? But it's gonna look good. Now I wanna copy this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold options. And while I'm in this right here, I'm gonna hold options and I'm gonna like options and I'm gonna like drag it over here. Boom, and that's a copy of that. Right, and that's how that looks, you see? It looks crazy, it looks amazing. Oh my gosh, the entire purple background is, is I'm, really, I'm really not feeling it. You can go to color overlay, we can make it red, we can try out different things right here, right? We can try red, we can click, um, and the cool thing is about the color gamut, like if I wanted to make it the same color as my hoodies or the same color as my teeth, which is white. Oh, I thought it was going to go to yellow. If it went to yellow, man, I was going to be mad. All right, but like you see, like this thumbnail actually pops up like crazy. Green is a really bright color, so it actually like brings up your, it actually makes you like want to click. Black, that's crazy. That's crazy right there. It's all about how creative you can get, you know, and that's why I'm not scared to tell you guys this because it's impossible for you guys to think the way I think, you know. Uh, I really like the blue. That's very ugly. <laughs> I, I, I spent a lot of time on thumbnails, guys. Uh, I, I don't judge me. I spent a lot of time because it's, like, it's like it's like very very important. Like we're gonna go to bedroom options. Usually, like you try a whole bunch of thumbnails and you end up like with the with the same one you had before, right? Let's go back here. We go back to black. I really like the black. The black is nice. Uh, I think black black is really cool actually. Uh, what I don't like is actually thumbnail now anymore. Oh wow, look, I, I, I dragged this out of place. I messed up everything! No, like literally just click Control Z and you're back at where you started. And sometimes in order to Photoshop, you can't just click Control Z all the time. So you can literally go to edit and click step backwards. And what I will usually do is I'll make a small, I, I'll duplicate the text again because you don't want to have to like duplicate and keep like, you don't want to have to, I don't want to have to like start again from like from the same text, right? Right? And we're gonna um, basically take this, drag over it and put how to, and don't worry, <laughs> oh my God, this is, uh, it's people are gonna think I don't know how to spell, but I actually do. But how to? It doesn't have to be proper English. That's one thing I've learned. I'm gonna try a different color, actually. And that's how you make an amazing thumbnail for a video. It might be a little different. I don't know if I changed my mind. Guys, something that I always like to do is I like to save my work. So always save your work after you're done with it. There's a ton, ton, tons of other ways to make a thumbnail, but. This is what I chose. I hope you guys like this video. If you like this video, you guys want to see more videos like this, go ahead and leave a big thumbs up and join the best family on YouTube, guys. As always, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Oh, by the way, um, Photoshop is literally only about, like, 20 bucks. Uh, it's really expensive for my budget, but it's worth the investment if you're going to do YouTube, like, seriously. I have, like, a maddest head. I have, like, a massive headache right now. I was, like, modeling all night yesterday. Actually, I was sleeping. I'm just joking. Uh, I, I had a lot of fun filming this video, to be honest with you, because it's something that I always wanted to do wanted to watch when I was a kid, you know, when I started a YouTube channel. Uh, you don't need the best computer in the world, you just need my computer, which is the best computer in the world, but you probably don't have it, because there's only one computer like this in the world. Uh, I'll see you guys next time, peace out, man. I'm so tired right now. <laughs> Words come, won't come out. Hey, it's me. Um, if you made it all the way to the end of the video, which is like this entire part, like thank you, thumbs up. Uh, this is the subscribe button right here, I think, something like that, or is it like on this side? It's like a big circle, like you can't miss it. And then there's like a square with the latest video, or it's a video that's best suited for you, because YouTube does that now. And let me know what you think. Like, I'll see you over in that video, or subscribe right now. We need to get to 2,000 subscribers. Thank you so much. Oh my god, I'm running out of words. Peace out.